this is NVIDIA. I'm going to do something just a little bit different today and start on the four hour time frame. Thank you to Marat for pointing this out to me. He says that the RSI is below 30. This hasn't happened since January and we are on the same place before running up. So this could be an, a good opportunity to possibly dollar cost average in. So I thought I would break down the chart with you. So we ended the day at $795.18, up 4.35%. The day's low, 764. The day's high, $800.73. This is where we ended on the four hour time frame. I know it looks like a hot mess, but I know exactly what every mark is on this chart. So we are right here to the middle of the trend takes us back to the baseline. And that is 902.99. This is also resistance and a potential take profit area. Above that takes us to two standard deviations at 1035.31. 110445. And should we be so lucky as to get to four standard deviations, that would be 1170.90. Of course, that will take quite some time from where we are, but right now we are in an upward channel, which is nice to see. Now to the downside. Back at support, negative two standard deviations, 763.48. Below that, 692.93. And 621.90, another level of support and a potential buy in area. Now, unfortunately, I have marked this out previously, and there is a gap right here. Now, I have not looked at NVIDIA for quite some time. I know many people follow this one, but I really do not. Obviously, I've marked it out many times, but that right here takes us down to 675.91. This, this gap, we gapped up, so I anticipate a fill to the downside, but we are not in that channel, not in the zone, not even close. We are going farther away from this because we are going up. But obviously we can get slammed down in a heartbeat, but just something to be aware of to the downside. And as you can see, I've marked this out, oh, many, many, many times. And look at this. I don't think we're gonna get to this level, but should we crash and burn, that would take us to 306.23. And again, not in the channel, not in the zone, and not even close. So, I will now flip this over to the five minute time frame, but I do see something I want to point out. Now, when I looked at this back on June 19th, the one year price target was $440.76 according to TradingView. And then I checked it again. And that target on August 27th, was $640.71. Obviously, we ripped right through that. And now the new target on TradingView is $989, which represents a 24% return from where we are today. So something to look forward to the upside. Obviously, we have many trades to get to that level, and it's not going to come easy. Now, on the five minute time frame, which is where I always like to give price. Oops, why do I keep hitting the wrong thing? It's option R if you're on a Mac. All right, now the chart gets a little wonky because on TradingView, when you start on one time frame and flip it to another, the line moves the where I hit the price target. Well, where I marked it out, I should say. So obviously, it's not right here, that's on the four hour. It's right here on the five minute time frame. So let me just mark that out so that I know I switched time frames. 
it's right here. So obviously the different time frames also give you different buy and sell signals as I have said in the past. And there are many levels between negative two and two standard deviations and the calculations change constantly depending upon what time frame you play. So keep that in mind when I give you price targets on the five minute time frame. But where whatever time frame you play, the middle of the, excuse me, negative two and two changes and the middle of the trend, but that is where I anticipate price to stay. Now, to the upside, oh, let me fix that, where are we? Oh, let me just do this again, 495.18. Let me change the color because you know I like to color code everything. Oops, wrong color. All right, there we go. Now for your five minute time frame, price targets, option R, let me just reset that again. Two standard deviations and resistance, 80437, 81777. 831.79 back to the middle of the trend and the baseline where price has to go through if it's going to go to the south side 775.22 746.04 730.98 and at negative four standard deviations and another level of support and another potential buy in area 716.91 obviously again many levels in between note the bounce at support here, here, and when we are here and we get to this level, this turns into resistance, and you know what happens? We go down, back up to another level of resistance and another potential take profit area. Okay, and then when we fall back down here, this turns into support. And the last time I looked at this, price was eight hundred and eighty one dollars and eighty six cents we are now again at 795 note the downward channel we are still in on the five minute time frame but on the day excuse me on the four hour we are going up so just keep that in mind and there's that one year price target that I am tracking the RSI on the five minute is turning up we are not overextended plenty of room to move to the upside and very quickly for you for all you die hard nvidia fans rsi is at 40 plenty of room to move to the upside here's your weekly and we are turning up but note just like marat pointed out when we're at 30, that's oversold and a potential buy-in area, a potential area for dollar cost averaging in if you're trying to lower your basis there and you're stuck. But note, the crack above 70, you cannot expect the RSI and price to stay up there without cracking and falling for potential leg up, but always falling down, consolidating, basing, barcoding. Note the crack note the crack note the run up okay just look left whether it's the four hour the five minute whatever time frame note the run up the crack the crack okay the cycle repeats itself and let me go back to the five minute and just for giggles i'm going to switch this over very quickly to amd so you can see amd I'm in this one still. All right, we are close to two standard deviations, 14895, 152.35, 152.35, 145.51, 142.08, 142.25, and 138.44 ignore all these horizontal lines those are my previous support and resistance but I think this green line is where I sold some shares a while ago I'd have to 
take a look in the big picture to see. But I do see an opportunity here. Just mark this out very quickly. Okay. What goes down, I anticipate to go up when we reverse course. We can't stay down forever. It's not going to happen. Let me get rid of my magnet. Okay. So there you have it. To the upside, this is a target. We're not in the channel, not in the zone, but something to look forward to at 151.77, closing out at 154.53. We almost tickled it. I mean, we tickled it, but we didn't touch it right here. So this remains in play for the next gap to the upside that I will be tracking. And note this gap also opened up, but closed out. So that is no longer a threat. All right, I am done. That is a look at NVIDIA and AMD. Thank you so much for checking it out and have a 